Hello and welcome back guys to another tutorial and in this video we are looking at this landing page so here we have these images and when we click on the next button we have this smooth transition animation so as you can see when we click on the next button uh, we have the text change and the background image change and similarly when we click on the previous button we also have this animation going on so in this video we will cover the html part and we will also have a look at what several libraries that we will need in order for these animation to work so like for the background we will use different library and for the slider we will use glide.js and then for the text we are going to use gsap so without wasting any more time let's start writing some code So here is my index.html and my main.css and the main.js file so as you can see all of these are currently empty and in the image folder i have the different images that i will be using in this project and the next thing we have here is uh, for the fonts i'm going to use oswald and poppins and then we are going to use some icons for that i'll be using font awesome and i've added the link for my main.css and main.js now for the remaining script tag I will tell you what different dependency that we need. So the first thing that I am going to add is this webgl distortion hopper event. So you can go on to this link I will leave the link in the description and then click on the download source. And once it's downloaded you can open that folder and then you can find um, under this the js folder there will be like hover.js. So we are going to use this file in our project. So let me quickly just copy it in my JS folder. So I will just drag it in my JS folder and in my index.html I will add the link for this hover.js. So this will help us achieve the background animation that is going on. Now the next thing that we are going to need is gsap. So you can head on to that this link cdnjs.com and there you can select the version 2.1.3. So there you can find, okay, let me just reset this one, just re let me refresh this page. So you can see different dependency related to 2.1.3. So here you can find this twinmag.min.js, so just copy it and in the script tag add that link in the src, which is the source. The next thing that we are going to add is the 3.js. So you can also head on to the CDN link and copy this 3.min.js. So this 3.min.js is also used by hover.js. So we should add it otherwise we will not be able to have that animation effect. Now the final thing is its glide.js class. So we can uh, find in the setup folder how to download. So you can download the latest release and in the zip file you will find let me quickly extract it so you can find another dist folder the glide.js so we will use the glide.main.js and then this glide.theme.main.js or oh sorry main.css so this will help us achieve the slider animation or we should say the slider the complete slider that we have on the home screen so i will quickly copy this glide.main.js into my js folder and this glide.co.min we will need in our CSS folder. So let me just quickly copy it here. So I will copy my glide.co.min into my CSS folder. And my glide.min.js file into my JS folder. And add the script src for that glide.min.js and similarly one css tag for the glide.co.css we just create another link tag and in the href we can copy this one so minor cor correction i told that, that we need glide.theme.min.css but we only need glide.co.min.css so now in the body tag, I'm creating a new section inside that I will create a new nav tag and inside that I will have my logo and then using a uh, unordered list, 
and with list item and then a div with the class name of search and an icon so this is the icon so the next thing that I am going to add is for I will create a new div with a class name of side indicator so this side indicator is nothing but in uh, I will quickly show you what the side indicator is so before that just quickly add a div with the class name of line so this is the side indicator as you can see we have a line there so I have added the div for that and the next thing that we are going to need is the different indexes that we have so index 1 index 2 index 3 and index 4 and inside this we have a paragraph tag with 1 2 3 and 4 so these are 1 2 3 and 4 as you can see only the active one will be shown and when we change to the next slide then the uh, other indexes will be updated the next thing that we'll have here is a div with a class name of content and inside that we will have the text and these slider so I will create a new div with the class name of content and inside this I will again create a new div with the class name of text wrapper so inside this uh, we will have the title and description so I will create a new div with the class name of text so inside this we will have the title div of id title and as you can see all the four, are, or four titles are currently here so what will happen is when we click on next button this will go up and the text at the lower will become visible and come into display so the same thing will happen with description as soon as we click on the next button the current current description will go up and the next description will come into the display so i have added all the four descriptions on the main page itself so this thing will become more clear when we start writing the javascript so as you can see these texts are going up and the bottom one is getting revealed so you don't need to worry about it right now we will cover this part in the javascript section so the next thing i am adding is this button so this is the button explore with an arrow which is using contrast now let's add the part for this slider thing so for that i will create a new div here so it should be created after text wrapper class so here i will create a new div and this time the class name will be glide as it is required by the glide js class now inside this i will add one more class which is my own one and i am naming this glide cover so what this will do is cover the glide section so that the user is not able to scroll the um, slides using the mouse drag only the next and previous button will be used to change the slides now the next thing that we will need is as per the requirement of the glide.js class instead of writing all this what you can do is simply head on to the glide.js docs and there you can find how to set up so here you can see how you can set up and this is the thing the structure that we need so i will just copy this thing so i have already added the glide class so inside this we will have this glide track and the glide slide so inside the glide slide class we will have the content that we have on our home screen so one more glide slide will be needed so inside this I will copy the code for the content that we'll have in each slide. So I will create a new div with the class name of slide1 or just slide and then add one. So inside this I have my paragraph tag which is nothing but this the name of the title and then we have this rating class and let me show you what it is this is the rating class as you can see five circles are there and four is active one is inactive so this will act like a four by five rating and the next thing we will have is the slider image inside this i have this image uh, slide one dot jpg and then this bookmark so this is the bookmark class so the same thing we will need for the other slides as well just different name and different image 
and you can also give different rating by changing the active class so inside this i will just copy the code here so as you can see slide 2 the name is kerala and then the rating and then the slider image the same thing goes for the third slide and finally for the fourth one also now the last thing that we need to add is our control button so which will control the slider animation as well as the background animation so these buttons are also provided by glide.js class so i will simply copy that code here and in that code i will add my own id so that we can access it in our javascript so as you can see this controls class this data glide directory so i've added this id of prev and id of next to control it in our javascript file you can read more about it in the glide.js documents so let me quickly create my server here so i can show you how this one looks so far so as you can see nothing fancy here so in the next video we will cover the remaining css part and also start writing some javascript so that's it guys for this video i uh, hope you like this tutorial and don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button thanks for watching